Hey there, and welcome back to Living in Durham Region with Rob. If you clicked on this video, it's probably because you're interested in moving to Whitby and you wanna learn a little bit more about the Rolling Acres neighborhood. Well, I've got great news for you in this video. I'm gonna go over the location of Rolling Acres, some things to do in the area, the schools in the area, a little bit about the homes and the demographics. And after all that, I'm gonna hop into my car, take you on a little drive through the neighborhood to give you a better idea of what it is like. Hey everyone, it's me, Robert Marsiglio, sales representative with Keller Williams Referred Urban Realty out here in Durham region. Now, before we get into this video, if you have any questions about this neighborhood specifically, about Whitby, about Durham region, about the greater Toronto area and beyond, please call me, text me, email me, whatever works best for you, because I love helping people just like you discover more and moving into and out of this great area of Ontario. Enough of that though, let's get into the video. Rolling Acres is located in the northeast part of Whitby, and the borders are really the Oshawa-Whitby border, which runs right between Girard and Thornton, Totten across the top, Anderson to the west, and Rosslyn Road down the south. This really puts the area smack in the middle, which is this little box of the 407 and the 401. Now there's good assortment and type of home in this area, the majority being built in the 90s and early 2000s, but we also see some new pockets. So this, not even updated on the maps yet, is all being developed pretty recently uh, along Dryden, just on the west side of Thixon Road. We're also starting to see some townhomes going up here close to the shell. There's plan to develop this area as well here too. In this pocket, you have a mix of, you know, some townhomes in this area, as well as a bunch of detached, even some semis down here along Waller that you're seeing. If you're looking townhomes, again, more down in this pocket, whereas in here between Girard and Thixon, just north of Rossland. These are mostly going to be detached homes with some semi sprinkled in there as well. Now, like much of Whitby, it's a great family friendly neighborhood. Uh, there's a lot of young families that have moved in recently, especially in the last couple of years during the pandemic, getting out of the city. And there's also some older kind of original owners in some of these pockets too, for a nice blend of uh, kind of different families. The majority of people in this pocket do own their homes, not a lot of renters. In terms of schools right in the neighborhood, you have Sir Samuel Steele Public School. You have John Dryden Public School, just on the other side of Dryden. And you have St. Mark the Evangelist, which is the Catholic elementary school in this area. There are no high schools right in the neighborhood. However, the Catholic high school is Father Leo J. Austin, which is just on the other side of Anderson, just outside of the boundary. And the public high school is Sinclair Secondary School, which is a little west of the neighborhood, just on the other side of Totten Road. Let's get an idea of what this is like from a commuter perspective. So from right in the middle of this neighborhood, it'll take you 50 minutes roughly. I'm recording this at 1045 on a Wednesday to get drive down to Union Station. If you feel like taking the toll road for whatever reason, heading north towards Brooklyn a little bit and across the 407, that's gonna take you 56 minutes. And if you are a transit rider, you're looking at anywhere between an hour and 33 minutes to an hour and 53 minutes, and that's using a mix of buses and trains. Things to do in this area, well, like much of Whitby, there are some pretty, pardon my French, kick-ass playgrounds for the kids. Uh, at all these schools, there are some nice playgrounds in this pocket. There's also uh, Dryden, or Darren Park, my apologies, has an amazing splash park over there. You have Deverell Park, Jack Wilson Park, a big walking slash biking trail that kind of runs all the way from north to south through the area as well. And not to mention back in here in this pocket, a little hiking trails, be wareful of maybe some coyote activity back there sometimes, but lots to do and see in this area in terms of, you know, kind of that trail walking, playgrounds, all that stuff. You're not gonna be doing any high-end shopping in this neighborhood, but there is a grocery store right smack in the middle, Conroy's No Frills that you see of this neighborhood. And if you are not a No Frills shopper, do not worry because you're very close to accessing Totten Road, which really everything you need in Whitby is just down the street. Like you can see, Farm Boys here. There's a Walmart Supercenter. This is a superstore right here. There's a Metro even closer to you. You've got Lowe's, you've got Home Depot, you've got Canadian Tire. You've got absolutely everything you need within a very, very close drive. But enough of the screen recording. Let's go hop in the car, take a little drive through the neighborhood to give you a better idea of what it feels like. <laughs> Thank you. 
There you have it, we are back in the office. I hope this video helped you shed some light on the Rolling Acres neighborhood of Whitby, Ontario. If it did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as I will cover more Durham Region neighborhoods each and every week. If you have any questions about this neighborhood specifically, about Whitby, about Durham Region, about the GTA and beyond, don't hesitate to call me, text me, email me, whatever is easiest for you. I truly do love helping people just like you discover this area, move in and out of this great part of Ontario. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.